probably would have been bad for me, but it would have been better for my son so and my nephew. So I really wish I was here. Sean Blackwell says he got word of what happened at the first crime scene in Bogachita on Saturday night, so he rushed to his family's aid. But he says what he didn't know is that Godbolt was already headed to his home where he had just left his son and young nephew. We was just called and we, they told us about the disturbance that was taking place there and the things that he did. So we, we left here and went down there to check on family down there. So when we was down there, the, the little episode was going on, and we received a call from another cousin that he forced to bring him up here. He called and said he was up here shooting. So we rushed from there back up here, and that's when we found my son and my nephew. Blackwell says Godbolt arrived at his home on Coopertown Road in Brookhaven, shot his door more than a dozen times, shattering the glass, and then kicked it in. That's when he allegedly shot and killed his 11-year-old nephew, Austin Edwards, and his 18-year-old son, Jordan Blackwell. He says he believes his cousin, Godbolt, was looking for him and his wife. Police say after leaving the home on Coopertown Road, Godbolt headed to East Lincoln Road just five minutes away, where police say he shot and killed a man and a woman, bringing the total number of people killed to eight. Blackwell also said his cousin had been having episodes leading up to this deadly shooting spree. But he'd been having episodes for a while now, uh, where he'd been acting out, pulling guns, shooting at things, dogs, and, you know, doing different things. Blackwell says despite the deadly series of events, he still loves his cousin, and he's glad he didn't die. I'm, I'm glad he didn't die, because he need to understand what he did, how he hurt people, you know. He need to live with it.